Okay, question number 11. We're going to start on number 11, and it says simplify. Simplify, by definition, means combine like terms, meaning I can only put Bs with Bs, Cs with Cs, numbers with numbers. Now, I'm slightly odd. I like to have largest coefficients listed first. Sometimes I don't know that. I look at my Bs. I have negative 4 and negative 8. I put a negative 4 with a negative 8. Not two negatives or a positive, only when I'm multiplying. This is adding. Combining like terms is adding. That's going to give me a negative 12b. Negative 12b. I'm not going to gouge that out. I'm just going to draw one line over it. Now, also be careful. Box things to keep the sign that's in front. By you boxing to keep the sign that's in front, you're automatically combining like terms. You're automatically adding. Then I don't have to worry about subtracting rules. Next part, put my C's together. Box this, plus 8C, minus 2C. Okay, a positive 8, a minus 2. Bzz, subtract, keep the sign of 8. Who wants to raise their hand and tell me how many C's do I have? Two, six. I have a positive 8, a negative 2. Lila. Six. Lila. Six. Positive 6C. Now, I need somebody. I got a plus 12, a plus 6. I need someone to just do it. It's a very basic problem. 12 plus 6, 12 plus 6, 12 plus 6, 12 plus 6. 18. Now, here's your hard part. This is where we're going to start earning our money a little bit. Now, yeah, I like to. Variables always. You got a variable, put it towards the front of the problem because when I factor things later on in life, it's easier. Put your coefficient that's larger. 12 is larger than 6, so put that up front. Bigger numbers, it's easier to factor later on. Now, I have to look at 12, and I need to think what numbers divide into 12, 6, and 18 that they all share. I know a 2 goes into 12, a 2 goes into 6, and a 2 goes into 18. I need to think what other numbers go into 6. 3 goes in. 3 goes into 12, 3 goes into 6, 3 goes into 18. But what's the biggest number that goes into 6? Six. Yeah. Does six go into twelve? No. Yes. 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 Two. Six goes into six. Six goes into eighteen. I'm gonna pull a six out here. Now, when I do this, I usually pull out the positive number, unless everything in the page was negative. If it was all negatives here, I'd make it negative six. I'm gonna make this six times something gives me negative twelve b. I need one negative sign. And I need a 6 times 2 to give me 12. And a B. 6 and negative 2B. That gives me negative 12B. Now, hard but easy. What do I multiply 6 by to make 6C? What do I multiply 6 by to make 6C? 6. Riley? C. Now, if you put a 1 in front of C, you're fine. You don't need to. It's TMI. Now, lastly, what do I multiply... 18 by, or no, what do I multiply 6 by to make 18? Trevor? 3. 3. We're done. Now, whew, it tells me now, if you truly think this, pro this problem's correct. Now, the only way I'm going to know this is correct, go back, double check, negative 12B, 6C, plus 18. I know that's good. Now, I'm going to go put in my values. I'm going to go put in a 2 for B, a negative 3 for C. And since I have parentheses and I know all the values, do that first. I only have to draw my arrows when I have variables in here and I can't solve it. So when I put this in, negative 2 times 2 plus negative 3 plus 3. Okay? Now... Here's the hard part. Let me blow this up so it's easier to see. Let me slide this up and slow it down for a second. Okay. I put in my 2 for B because that's what it said in the directions. I put in my negative 3 for C because that's what it said in the directions. Now I'm going to solve this according to the order of operations. And I'm also purposely leaving something out because I want you guys to catch it in a minute. Um, what's 2 times negative 2? Negative 4. Negative 4. 
what's a plus a negative 3 and a positive 3? What happens to a negative 3 and positive 3? Zero. Zero. They cancel. So my answer is negative 4. But tell me out. What did I not include from my original problem that I need to include? My answer in here, 4 and negative, negative 4 and negative 3 give me negative 7. Negative 7 and positive 3, if you didn't see, they cancel. Negative 7, positive 3 gets me back to negative 4. So technically, my answer right here is negative 4. Somebody's got to go find the last missing part to this question because I didn't copy it down totally completely. What do I still need to include? Nope, not yet. Who can raise their hand and tell me what do I need to still include? Austin. No. Who can raise their hand and tell me what is in the original equation up here that still needs to be included? Somebody, please look on the page. The whole world's watching. Okay. What is not included in my problem down here? Okay. Hey, everybody follow your finger along here. We did negative 2 times 2. Gave me negative 4. Plus negative 3, because that's what C was. Plus 3. We combined all of that. We came up with an answer of negative 4. That's not my answer. Who can raise their hand and tell me? What am I missing? Sam. The 6. 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. Final answer. 